Let's uh, head to Rogers Center now and welcome in Mike Bordick. And Mike, let's talk uh, Jonathan Scope first. Now, he is still gaining experience as a hitter. He's only had 684 at bats in the big league career. But what we're seeing lately is he seems to be maturing at the plate. Yeah, I agree with you. You know, I think uh, experience, obviously, there's no replacement for that. And the more at bats Jonathan Scopes get, gets at the uh, major league level, the better he's going to be. You know, he's been surrounded by some great veterans. I think last year around Nelson Cruz uh, so much helped him tremendously, and he carried over in this year. See the home run there. Jonathan Scope's power numbers are ridiculous in uh, minimal amount of at-bats. He only has 214 at-bats this year. Already has 11 home runs. His slugging percentage is up over 500. So the guy is contributing offensively. His batting average has been hovering around 300 all season long. He's starting to discipline himself. He's understanding his own strike zone starting to figure out what pitchers are trying to do trying to get him to chase early and when he falls behind he ends up expanding the zone a little bit recently you've seen him taking some pitches in the dirt I think hitting coach Scott Coolbaugh is really challenging this team especially the young stars see the ball up don't fall behind by swinging at balls in the dirt don't be over anxious react to the ball you see don't just react when the pitcher releases the baseball Jonathan Scope's taking that to heart. He's just going to get better and better. Yeah, I thought his at bat in the seventh inning against Price yesterday, one of his best of the year. He fell behind one and two, and then he worked a seven pitch walk against the pitcher who was on his game. That that was a really good at bat and very telling, I thought. Well, you know, and he's done that kind of stuff all season long. There have been glimpses of uh, this guy becoming a superstar. You know, he's a big kid. He's proven himself defensively. He can handle himself in that regard at the major league level. Last year, there were a lot of question marks. Hit 16 home runs, but he only hit 200. You didn't know how it was going to transfer over. Well, I think he's taking it to heart. This guy is a full all around uh, baseball player. He has great instincts. He learns the game. I don't think he's ever going to stop wanting to make himself better. And I think that's a great sign, especially when you have Jonathan Scope and Manny Machado side by side. All right, Manny Machado, speaking of him, he makes his fourth start at shortstop today. Now, I realize if J.J. Hardy was active, Hardy would be at short and Manny would be at third. But what do you make about this with the Orioles taking advantage of Hardy being on the DL to get a look at Manny at shortstop? Well, you know, I don't think they ever wanted to slide Manny over there, at least when J.J. Hardy was in the lineup. And, you know, they didn't ex think that J.J. Hardy was going to miss this much time. But Manny Machado was filled in there, of course, came up through the minor league, signed as a shortstop, and it looks like a pretty easy transfer for him. This guy has unbelievable athletic ability. Kind of changed the game over at third base, if you will, for the way he plays it, the depth he can play third base. He's made uh, plays from the outfield grass over there. So has one of the strongest arms, if not the strongest arm on an infield in all of baseball and now he's able to show his athleticism a little bit more you can improvise a little bit more at shortstop you see everything in front of you you see the looseness in him turning the double play we saw him range deep to the hole and then throw off balance but on the money so his athletic ability and baseball knowledge is off the charts one thing they're concerned about with him is just the you know in-game situations will those things start to catch up with him without the experience playing shortstop because you have to be a field general you have to know where to be every time you step on the field. All right, Mike Bordick joining us from Rogers Center.